So I've seen my fair share of horrible paddlers out on the water, and unfortunately I used to be one of them. I make these same three mistakes over and over and over again. So today I'm going to give you three tips to help you avoid making these same mistakes and become a better paddler. Let's get started. So the most common mistake a paddler can make is using the incorrect paddle height. Too short a paddle and you're causing more strain on your lower back and also make it harder for you to balance on your paddle board or using too tall a paddle and putting more strain on your shoulders and giving yourself an awkward paddle stroke. Now using the correct paddle height does depend on a few factors and it's not the same for everybody as every person is unique. It depends on things like your body height, what type of paddle board you're using to paddle on, whether it's a hard board or whether it's an inflatable board. It also depends what type of paddling you're doing versus touring or racing or subsurfing. All these factors combined depend on what is the correct paddle height that you need to be using. Thankfully, a company called Black Project Sup has done the work for you and has created a great chart to reference to help you decide what paddle height is correct for you. So I encourage you after this video to go check out that chart using the link down below to help you decide what's the correct paddle height that you should be using. Another common mistake paddlers make is looking down at their feet or down at their paddle board while they're paddling along, which causes you to have less balance and also to have worse posture, which can lead to more back pain as well. So instead of looking down, you want to make sure you keep your eyes on that horizon at all times, as that will help you feel way more balanced on your paddle board, and it'll also give you better posture as it keeps your eyes and your chest upright at all times while you're paddling along. Then finally, another common mistake that you think would be super obvious not to do, but you have paddlers do it time and time again, and that's when they go to enter the water with their paddle board. They go in too shallow water and set their board down too early, causing their fin to get stuck on the sand below them. So when they get on their paddle board, they're obviously stuck and can't go anywhere. And by doing this as well, you have a higher risk of breaking or damaging your fin below your paddle board or even damaging your paddle board itself. So a good rule of thumb to help you avoid making the same mistake is when you go into the water, make sure you walk to where the water at least reaches up to your knees. This will simply assure that you have enough depth in the water to provide clearance for your fin below your paddle board. So in most cases, once that water has reached your knees, you can set your board down with confidence get on it and head out for a great paddle. So I really hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did be sure to give this video a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hasta luego amigos.